Hi YouTube, welcome back. Tim here and at someone's request I wanted to make a bow that is shaped as far in a traditional C for an Asiatic com composite bow as possible. This is about as close as I felt I could take it. Right now I'm working with 48 inch long, 4 foot, from one side to the other. The bash 3 inches, the kasan 6 inches, so 9 inches to the main bending portion of the limb. The handle 2 inches on either side of center. The string is not perfect, this is just one that I have around, and it will, uh, you see, it does not ride low enough, and so it wants to uh, twist the limb. But if I'm careful how I, how I position it, it should be okay, at least for the purposes of testing. And as soon as the limb takes off, that is, as soon as the string lifts off of the limb, there shouldn't be a, a big problem. Okay, so here's the bow. Again, the handle should be more straight I feel and the curve should be less even, it should be more severe in this region but simply due to the nature of PVC this is what I am left with. I suppose if I wanted it to be flatter or to bend more severely here I'd have to flatten it more severely here. Maybe if I had a bending jig it would work. I don't right now. But it's a good try and so let's go ahead and test it and see if it can be drawn fully and what the weights are at those draw lengths because I have no idea what to expect I didn't even know if it would be able to be strong, so I'm very pleased that we've gotten even this far. Okay, I'm turning the scale on and attaching it. Okay, so the brace height is five inches call it. It should be more like seven, but again, I'm using the wrong sort of string for this. With a real authentic bow, the string should only contact the limbs right at the base of the bush. After that, this is pretty darn good on this side. On this side, it contacts the almost the entire length of the kasan. So I think we're going to see the limbs don't bend quite evenly, but this is not too bad. So again, we have no weight right now. And here we go, drawing it, hopefully to a full draw. Twenty inches is thirty-two pounds. Twenty-two inches is thirty-four pounds. Twenty-four inches is thirty-six pounds. Twenty-six inches is thirty-nine pounds. 28 inches is 42 pounds. 24. That's pretty cool. So it actually does do a full 28 inch draw. I'm surprised. Let's take this off and see exactly what the set was. Because I expect there will be a little set in the limb is we're forcing the, the center of the bow to do a lot more work than usual. It's, it's, it's essentially a U3 curve bow. Nothing unstandard. Just a, a normal U3 curve bow that I've done a, a more Turkish style uh, ending to. And also, this is an all PVC version, one piece, single piece, rather than... Rather than having me insert Sia's, I just decided it would be easier and lighter to do a one piece like this, which should also lead to a better performing bow. I want to have a string which is long enough to reach the, the appropriate point, hopefully a tiny bit shorter. The adjustable loops that I'm going to make will allow me to do that, but that's pretty cool. See how it wants to, to twist off the side? The bow itself is pretty darn straight, so it's mostly the torque from the string not being even that's causing that problem. I can go ahead and just manually tweak it or I could even uh, cut down the bosch a little bit further. See there we go, now it's perfectly even. If I wanted to I could put some string bridges but like I say, slightly longer string will lead to it evening out I think all on its own. Ooh, yeah it's very light. Feels flexible, doesn't feel like it's about to explode. So he says now, but it really does want to unstring itself. Cool. So, 
Okay, unsurprisingly, we do have a little bit of set. I imagine a good bit of this, a little bit of this will go away just after resting. Let's see if I were to put it down on a flat surface. Yeah, there are any flat surfaces long enough within camera range. Anyway, it's probably taking a one inch set right now. Not bad, all things told. I'm going to go ahead and make a string for it, and then I'm going to go out, out back and shoot it. I might also heat and tweak the limbs. Because, yeah, if it wasn't a little twisted before, it certainly looks a tiny bit twisted now at the base of this kasan. When I discover a little bit of a twist or a problem that crops up, I like to take out my marker and circle it. I don't have a marker right now. So we'll just have to remember it's the side that starts with a three-quarter inch silver line. I'm going to go inside and fix it, make a string, and hopefully I'll get to shoot it today. Because I don't have too much time left to make for Hi, YouTube. I went ahead and I adjusted the one-piece C-shaped bow. As you can tell, this limb's a little weaker than this limb. On the whole, I think that'll be okay. As we saw, I drew it fully and it works to a full 28 inches. All I did was I straightened it a bit and I made a new string. I need to still trim it. Essentially, this string does ride over the uh, what's left of the back part of the sea, so it keeps it from torquing too much. And I'd like to have the brace height a tiny bit higher, but a five-inch brace height, give or take, is about right. Let's get shooting. longer. This is what happened after the second or third shot. It wants to, to ride up. The string needs to be a tiny bit, or the loop needs to be a tiny bit longer. The string needs to be a tiny bit shorter. Unfortunately, this is just the size jig that I was using. If I wanted to do it uh, separately, special for this bow, I'd have to make a whole other jig. I'm probably not going to do that. On the whole, I think it shoots really well. It, it feels just gentle throughout in a totally different way. It's considerably lighter than a lot of my other bows since the taper is much more aggressive. It starts off thinner, stays thinner throughout, and I left the handle round. So it bends a lot nicer than the other Turkish bows that I'm making. However, that is because of the taper. Uh, but it doesn't have the same draw weight. It's only about 50 pounds, maybe 28 inches, 45 pounds, I'm sorry, maybe, instead of 50 or 60 pounds. I don't think it performs quite as well, and if I were to replace this with wood, I think that would pick up a little bit of performance. It's, it's, it's a nice bow, I mean, it feels good. I like it. I'm gonna play around with it more. Again, just to give you an idea of the set that it takes. This is immediately after shooting. Within about 10 or 15 minutes, it should go back to about there. Almost all of the 
set disappears. So Erkan, I hope you, you like the bow I made. I hope this is interesting. It proves that you can essentially make a real C-shaped bow. It's not as uh, impressive as the shorter bows that are even more heavily reflexed, but for PVC, uh, the more, the shorter you're gonna go, the more it's going to take a set like this. And I just like, the reason I deflex it here, in case anybody didn't know, was just to encourage it to bend right there, to look more authentic like a real Ottoman Turkish bow. This bow doesn't look bad, but I don't think it really looks authentic. And it seems to me that the deflex doesn't hurt performance. In fact, it may help by concentrating the bending in other portions of the limb, which then can be kept, like the handle, which can be kept a little fatter and straighter. I hope this was fun and interesting. Uh, check in again and let's see what I do next time. See you later.